All right, so December 25th, 2016. I made my way across Canada, pretty much. I'm at the Okanagan Valley, okay, in Kelowna, BC. You know, like orchards and stuff, guys. Like the farm cherries, I believe, and apples. You know, walking around places I'm not supposed to be, you know, trying to climb big hills to get to the top, guys. That seems like a noble thing to do on Christmas Day. Anyway, <clears throat> so, goal accomplished, guys. <laughs> I got the Jesus hair. First time I've ever tied my hair. Behind my head. It's been a long week, guys. So, I've been hearing a lot of noise about, you know, people wanting to give up the fight for truth. Tired of talking to brick walls, you know? Man doesn't seem to want to be open to new ideas or thoughts that challenge the matrix that they know. And I feel the same way, guys. It's so easy to give up and just go back to the illusion. What do you have to lose other than your illusions? Okay. I already know that I'm an idiot. I'm a dumbass. I'm a moron. I know nothing. I took it upon myself to unlearn all that I've learned. Question everything. You know, in the process, I've pretty much destroyed my life. Probably affected those around me. You know, because of whatever reason, guys. It's not their time to wake up. Now, I know I have this theory about free energy that could, I, I believe, fix the world. I got two, two textbooks today on how to use Pro-E. So I'm going to try to find a priority copy of Pro-E. I'm going to learn how to use the software myself because if you want something done right, guys, you got to do it yourself. You know, all I've been looking for with all these new truth channels and, you know, social media, you know, all for truth and everything. I'm trying to look for more people that are open and smart. <sighs> I want to work together to accomplish something new and create something better than what we presently have. If your illusion is that you live on ball earth, that's one thing. And if your illusion is that you know better and you live on flat earth, well, still an illusion, guys, because your eyes can deceive you. You have to understand the true reality that this is a cellular earth, cellular concave earth. And if you don't want to accept that and to destroy your illusions, I'm not going to push, guys. I don't really care. I already know better. You can't save anyone else but yourself. So I rejected my illusions, because I know that things can be done better if we work together. Now, I'm going to keep working at it. i got to figure out how to make it turn. I don't know if it's supposed to turn, or... I know how to do the wiring, I think, but how do you... Anyways. Can't really talk to anyone about it, right? There's one other human being who really understands the cellular earth, but that guy's got his head so shoved up his ass, so far up his ass. Like, I don't get, I don't get the ego, guys. I don't get the ego. Makes people like me who believe in this seem like crazy people because the one person that actually has good material on it seems like a little bit more Looney Tunes than most. And I'm not judging here, I'm just speaking reality and truth.
of what I see as part of my illusion here, guys. It's all part of the plan. Okay, guys? Now, Christmas, okay? You know, we had a good Christmas, okay? It's always fun to have Christmas with little kids, you know? They like the toys and the presents. But I actually witnessed a child reach a point where, you know, enough was enough and merely opening presents because they were there to be opened. You know, when I, I remember I had my little babes, it was Christmas every day. It's because Christmas is just another day. I don't like buying things and keeping it hidden for six months or whatever. I like to keep my kids happy. Days like this that come around, they get a little bit, but not as much as most people probably, because throughout the year they get so much. And what makes this day more special than any other day? Because you believe Christ was born? I already know that that is upside down, backwards, and flipped, okay? This day could actually mark the death of Christ. You know, the Mass? When you go to Mass, and people die. Jesus was not born on December 25th. And you can believe whatever you want to believe. But I'm in Kelowna, B.C. Partly up a mountain. Near some kind of thing that I'm probably not allowed to be around, not allowed to be around because there's barbed wire fence and there's no footprints really anywhere. It's good, man. These feet have been many places, guys. Okay, in my 34 years in this earth. Okay. So I just want to wish everyone a good, good holiday. You know, the world shuts down for this. That's how much influence religion has. So, take it for what it is, man. Enjoy it. I'll see you in the new year.